starting off miles with water bottles i am so sorry i <laughs> I, I didn't apparently it wasn't recording your voice until five seconds ago fuck started over <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> Um, I guess we're just gonna keep that in. Fuck it, I don't care. Um, water bottles, yeah. So, something that, like, kind of always irked me a little bit is, like, when people have an opinion on water. It's like, who fucking cares? It's water. Like, like I have a water. little bit of an opinion. Yeah, like, why, though? It's all water. I it's don't a- like Dasani. <laughs> Okay, I will say, I think out of every opinion, I think saying Dasani is bad is probably a decent one. Because anytime I drink Dasani, I feel like I'm drinking like half dirt, half water. See, yeah. Dasani was my favorite when I was a kid. So See, like, flavor, and it's I, water. <laughs> but like, I don't understand, like, you say flavor, but I think you guys mean like, mineral. Like, it's not flavor everything's still water it's just it's either hard water or it's like soft water that's it taste what the fuck is the taste it's water that's what that's that's literally the topic i'm like okay if you lined up a bottle of arrowhead fiji smart water core and dasani the only one you'd be able to tell the difference with is dasani I think some waters taste like, like, gassy, like, like there's CO two or something, like some kind of fume. Interesting. Uh, and others taste more like dirty, I guess. Yeah, dirty, it's, earthy. Yeah. Uh, I I just never understood that fucking thing. When we when we. Next time we hang out, I we're gonna test this. We're, we're gonna put Honk in front of a camera. We're gonna do a blind taste test and see what he thinks is what. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm down. Yeah, and I'm, and yeah. and the best part, I'm gonna like I'm gonna pour it into cups, so you can't even tell off the bottle, because you'd absolutely be able to tell if it's like core or like smart water. Oh yeah, it's based off the bottle. Yeah. So you're gonna get a bunch of different water bottles yes remember them remember them yep okay i it's i i just i'm pissed like that that, that I, like it pisses me off that people have this opinion because like it's like oh yeah you're supposed to have like a contender for like everything sure like pepsi and coke but it's fucking water like, why does it, like, you, if you went to Chipotle, you got an Arrowhead fucking water bottle, that is three something dollars. If you go to Costco, it is 50 fucking cents. It's 25. It's 25? Look at that shit. It's all water, and that one probably tastes the same. Yep. It's just, uh, I, I always hated that. This, that was literally just me wanting to rant. Honestly, I can't even remember the last time I bought a bottle of, like, a plastic bottle of water. Other than, like, getting a case if I'm, like, going on a trip or something. Yeah, pretty much. I never, I mean, I have my hydro flask if I, like, think I'm yeah. going anywhere. So, okay. I, I never, like, think about buying plastic bottles, but I, for the sake of science, I have to now. Are we gonna mix like Kirkland in there or like store brands or are we just doing like the main shit? Um whatever you wanna get. Okay. This this is gonna be a fun little I well I can't get Kirkland. Well I can get Kirkland. I'm stupid. I I forgot the vending machine. It's twenty five cents. Twenty five cents. Um which, uh this doesn't tie in super super well, but for some reason I feel like it goes hand in hand. Uh what's it like when you guys are sick? Are you like do you like being sick, but you know it sucks, or do you just hate the entire experience? Um I'm a big baby. So yeah. Unrelated. Sam's, <laughs> Sam's kind of getting sick right now. And I'm like trying to make her get me sick so that I can use my sick time my sick time at work. 
But that's like the only reason I would want to be sick. So like, it's it's not it's not good to like. Because I'm. Um. Okay. I uh I I'm like losing train of thought here. I think when I'm sick, um. I actually love being sick because it just means that I get to do nothing. I get to sit in bed and like the worst case scenario is like the coughing or like the sneezing, but you also get to enjoy food like 10 times more. You get that grilled cheese and tomato soup. You get the fucking chicken noodle soup. It's usually soup, but then Sprite hits that much more. Like <laughs> it's fucking nuts. I, I actually do enjoy being sick. Cause like, I'm like rarely fucking sick. I'm sick, it's for like two seconds. Like I get lightheaded and like I'm like having an allergy fit or something like that, and that's it. I'm rarely fucking sick. I don't get sick all that often, but when I get sick, it's like really fucking bad. It's like hot and cold flashes, like I wouldn't kill myself because it feels so bad. <laughs> I I think I have gotten like I've definitely gotten like that before, like where I'm just like breathing heavily, like huh, huh, something's wrong. <laughs> like I get that, and that definitely sucks. I think that's like probably the worst part of it. But everything else I think is fun. Like if I if if I had the opportunity to be sick right now, I think I would. I can also use that sick pay right now. That'd be nice. I'm crazy. My sister's sick right now, so if I get sick before my birthday, I'm gonna be fucking heated. Which sister? Kyra. Kyra's sick? Yeah. So where's the baby? Already? No. But already last night? I mean, not too much detail, but I was using the restroom. And then while on the toilet, I had, I had the feeling to throw up. I didn't actually puke, but like, the mouth watering was there and then and then I gagged but then nothing happened. I think it was just it's probably because it the shit hit the toilet awful. at that point. You were just like seeing God <laughs> for a second with that that thing. <laughs> it was just that bad. <laughs> yeah, it just fucking plunk. I think I'm trying to get some old. Um fuck. I guess that's that. Fuck. God damn it, Kelly, where are you? <laughs> um the fall season, boys. The best season, in my opinion, for anything. Yeah. Pumpkin sp pumpkin spice, Halloween costumes, fucking good great fucking weather. Uh stuff to do too. They have like haunted houses. Pumpkin patches, fucking little carnivals. Lawns are usually in the fall. I think it's all just perfect. Yep. Lots. Do you guys actually like haunted houses? I never go. I am not a fan. No. I'm a pussy. No. You're a pussy? No, I don't like, yeah, I don't like scary things. Um, I went to Universal... I think it was Universal Studios for the Friday night. Fri Fri thing, whatever. And doing those, like, they, oh, was it Universal or was it? Anyways, one of the California parks. We went through one of the mazes and I thought I was going to be scared, but I predicted every encounter. And so it was, like, funny instead of scary. Mm -hmm. Just um, laughing while tears are running down your face. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm sure, like, the more terrifying ones, like, I wouldn't be able to handle. There was, like, I forgot who I was with. I feel like, I think I was either with a girlfriend at the time or just, like, my sister or something. I think we went to Six Flags and, like, she was... Whoever it was, they were like terrified because like they have like the actors who like will run around with like the skids, like the the metal plates on their hands and like freak you out. 
And like, there is one that was like that came right up to me. I was just like, your breast stank. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like I, I I didn't say that, but like I I thought it was like funny more than anything, or I thought it was cool. I was like, oh, this 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 fucking sick with like the, the grinding. That like that's awesome. Um, actually, so as far as like spooky things goes, I'm not like the biggest horror fan at all by any means. I don't like horror movies. Unlike horror aspects, I'll I'll like divvy up the house to have like bats and skeletons and shit like that, but that's about it. I'm not I'm not even like a fake blood person. I hate that shit. I just don't like the cheesy stuff. I don't like the cheesy and, stuff. Yeah, and it's like eighty five percent cheesy stuff. Well, define cheesy stuff. Like just I don't know. Cheesy stuff like for scary movies, like the cheesy ones. Like I think a lot of them are really, I don't know, poorly filmed or written. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. They're old, they're old too. Some of them, there's still movies coming out though, and a lot of them, I'm like, man. You know, I saw that the fucking nun is getting a sequel. The yeah. nun. I remember when that movie came out, I was like, no one is going to watch this. <laughs> I think it's part of the Conjuring series. It is, but it was like, it's, it's, it was its worst performer. I don't even think it made back its budget. Really? Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's such a, like I saw the trailers, like that is such a dog shit movie. Um, My family used to do a little haunted house at our old house. We used to like walk in through the garage, going through our backyard, out the side gate. And then um, we built this massive, um, what is it, Jack in the Box? And um, it was just like a, we used like pallets um, for like the, the shape, you know, so it was like pretty easy. And then put my mom's little workout trampoline on the inside, and then my cousin Dwayne would jump out in a little costume. It's pretty. <laughs> God damn, you guys went all out. Yeah. We... And there was this room that was all black with like glow in the dark dots, and then um, I had an all black fit, and they spray painted dots on me, and I would jump out at people. Oh God. <laughs> There's two Halloween stories I can, like, tell. Um, One, I I have a friend named Tristan that I've known, like, since he was born. Uh, Mm -hmm. And so I used to go to his house all the time. Um, One, they're, like, kind of, like, on the richer end. So, like, they had a pretty nice place in suburbia. And so, like, they had a haunted house. And I forgot how the fuck they set it up. I can't remember what happened. But, like, a massive, and I mean massive amount of what seemed like high schoolers or just teenagers in general were walking uh, up to us. Like, I'm talking, like, a bus, a bus's worth. Like, they filled the garage to the brim. Yeah, I, I don't know how they were all traveling together. It just happened like that, I guess. So they all walk into the garage, they're all talking, and, like, I don't know what the fuck happened, but it was my job to just stand at the end of the garage and just, like, watch it all go down. And, like, they got scared, and I shit you not, the floodgates opened. Like, it was just all at once, all of them just, ah! I just fucking booking it out of that fucking garage. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck happened in there, but I was I was literally on the fucking floor laughing. Oh my god. The other Halloween story I have is like, have you seen those uh, things where it's like people like dress up as more of like a Halloween decoration than the actual person? Like they had like a candy bucket and they're dressed up as like a Grim Reaper, but they weren't moving. (laughs) So I thought, so I was going to grab candy and he like reached out to like get me and I fucking him with my bag when I was younger. Oh I was like, fuck back, fuck back. Yeah. Goofy. Goofy, yeah. 
I don't know. Halloween's really fun now, though, because now it's just like an excuse for me to like superhero shit. And eat a bunch of candy. Eat a bunch of candy. <laughs> what do you guys, um, what, what's a, uh, tradition that you, uh, wish you, or at least hope you can do in your future? Like, with it, wherever you end up? For Halloween? Yeah. I'm talking like family themed costumes, fucking that haunted house shit, or like um, Halloween parties. My mom used to make a Halloween village, and I wanna, I wanna low key start doing the Halloween village. I'm also used to do that. It's pretty fun. What's that? Um, you know, like, uh, come Christmas time, like, they ha they sell all those, yeah, mm -hmm. sell all those little houses and all those little people, and, like, some of them get animated and shit like that, and, like, they have the same thing for Halloween because of Nightmare Before Christmas, basically. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Things light up and move, or they're just there. Is Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween or Christmas? Both. Both. So you watch it and for both holidays. Uh, yeah, I used to. I think it's very overplayed for me now. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, same. I've only watched it like twice, but same. <laughs> My mom was goddamn obsessed. I think me, actually, I'm pretty same. sure me, <laughs> my mom, and your mom have the same exact mug. I'm almost positive, Alyssa. I'm fairly certain. The, the Jack Skellington one with like the striped mm -hmm. handle. Yeah. I don't think our handle is striped, but it's the same design regardless. Alicia has that one. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot Alicia does have that one. I remember mentioning that. Dude, it's just like, if you're obsessed with it, and especially if you're the kid of the person who is obsessed with it, <laughs> it's just like, it's so overplayed now. I just, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't. Um, Corpse Bride, I think, is still good for me. That one was like teetering on the edge, honestly. Um, what's another good Halloween movie? Shit. Hmm. I've seen Frank and Winnie one time. There's also Paranorman, but I don't, I don't know about that. I saw this theory. That it was like, um, oh yeah, Frank and Weenie, and then like, like all those movies are like a storyline. It's the same guy. Yeah, it's supposed to like start with Frank and Weenie, then it's supposed to go to Corpse Bride, then it's supposed to be Jack Skellington. Yeah, I I don't I need to rewatch it, but I'm pretty sure that's I don't know. Is it all made by the same person? Tim Burton. Those are all Tim Burtons. Well then, yeah, probably, probably has some, cause like I think there's like a dog involved in almost all of them too. Yeah, that's the Frankenweenie. Mhm. Mm and then, Zero. yeah, I don't remember if there's one Corpse Bride. There is, yeah, he's he's uh Scrups or some shit like that. It's like he he's a bone dog. Remember, he's like play dead. He's just like I'm already dead. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> And they all do, like, they all are the same dog, too. So I guess, yeah, that would make sense. It's just weird, because, like, timeline is, like, yeah. Frank and Weenie's, like, 80s. Fucking Corpse Bride is God knows when. Definitely not modern. <laughs> and then Jack Skellington, mm -hmm. who fucking... Well, that was, like, 2000s. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, that's, I don't fucking know. What else about fall do you love? There's a, an Oktoberfest, right? What's that all about? What? That's a German thing. I don't right. know anything. I don't even, I don't even think it's in October for some reason. <laughs> I think it's October with a K instead of C. Right. Yeah. But I felt like it was also mm. in October. I could Maybe be it wrong. Is. I could be very wrong. I feel like it's a I'm looking it up. 
It's in September through the beginning of October, only three days of October. Oh. Would you guys have you guys ever been to one of those? No. Oh wait. Um in um <laughs> Disney World, there's this uh in Epcot, this restaurant called Beer Garden and every day is Oktoberfest there. <laughs> Yeah. And we we dine there every every time we go because it's like a German buffet with oh. a little show. It's kind of neat. Hmm. Yep. Good food. So, so, okay, I know you're a whore for pumpkin spice, but Alyssa, are you a whore for pumpkin spice? Not pumpkin spice, but like cinnamon and apple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about pumpkin pie? You guys pumpkin pie whores? Oh, pumpkin pie is hands down my favorite pie, though. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I mean, I, I like have whipped cream, though. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just eyes to the back of the head. Just. Mm. Mm. I'm going to pretend like you didn't just say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, pumpkin pie is amazing, I, especially with whipped cream. Why wouldn't you? You don't like it with whipped cream? No, I like it plain. Do you not like whipped cream? It's okay. I don't hate it. I think it. you're the weird one. I think, no. I think you're kind of, because like, I feel like you're like Jesse. Like, we're just making something that's already good even better, but you prefer it to be less. Less. Mm, I, it's fine the way it is, yeah. It's like, not. I'll eat French fries plain, but it's I'd better like with ketchup. Yeah. Ketchup ranch, yeah. <laughs> it depends like, on the, the options. Ketchup there, ketchup there ketchup I'm fucking taking it. Like depends you just on the fry. No, okay, now we're having a totally different conversation. What's <laughs> what's so you're saying with a waffle fry or a steak fry, it, you you could have one of those plain? Yeah, if it's like a flavorful fry, like from Five Guys, the Cajun ones. They're good, but I'd like to dip them. If the option's there, I'm taking it. <laughs> I don't like I don't I don't see your 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 logic here. Like you're still you're saying the same thing. If the option's there, you're just refusing to make it better. I just don't want to, that's all. We don't so need to debate lazy. it. I know. I just don't prefer mm. to. She's not. <laughs> to the Halloween party. <laughs> That's fine. You're also not invited to any fast food restaurant we go to if your ass is That's just eating plain fine. ass, dry if, ass fries. If we're getting fries and I offer you some spicy barbecue sauce, are you Whoa. turning it down? No, I like I like spicy barbecue sauce a lot. It's just I don't really love ketchup and I don't really love ranch. Like it depends on like the ranch in the first place some places have nasty ranch okay but we're saying like in general like if you have a pair if you have some plain ass fries and you have the option to put whatever the fuck you want on it are you gonna put whatever the fuck you want on it or are you just gonna I keep mean, them plain probably but that's not what you initially said. You just kept giving all these scenarios. Well, you're not going to put ketchup on <laughs> fucking pumpkin pie. Like, it's just whipped cream. And I don't want it on it. That's all. But <laughs> you're wrong for that. I'm the one eating it. What's the matter? Um, we have to witness it. Yeah, I had to fucking don't call the police. Eat. What the fuck? I don't like watching you eat, so I don't. God, I never want to fucking... Oh, that's disturbing. I didn't. I it's didn't know the side of you. <laughs> um, fuck. So hurtful on my birthday week. What the fuck, bro? Oh, so your entire week you have fucking free reign now. Yeah. Um. Oh, what are you gonna have for Alan your birthday cake? Have birthday bread? month. <laughs> 
No, I'm gonna have like a pie for my. <laughs> <laughs> Better not be a fucking whipped creamless pumpkin pie. I swear to fucking it god. Will it will be. You have pie for your birthday? Yeah, I'm gonna have like a. I want something lemony. I don't want a key lime pie. That's too. Do you always have lemony. pie for your birthday? A pie or a brownie or anything else but cake. I don't like cake. And like cheesecake? I don't really like cheesecake either. Oh. Now you're just now you're just saying shit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sin. Okay. So you, no 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 no. One more question. Do you like red velvet? I don't really like cake that much. Red velvet can be in a lot of different forms. It, is red velvet not just chocolate, but flavor? I mean, colored? What is yeah. red velvet now that I think about red it? Red velvet is chocolate, but it's colored with red dye. No, it's not. You look it up. People say that, but no. Red velvet has a <laughs> but flavor. No. <laughs> People say that, but no. I think I feel like Hawk is right, so but, but how, he's he's a slot for red velvet. Traditional recipes do not use food coloring. Okay, today though it is made by using cocoa powder, butter, sugar, eggs, flour, buttermilk, vinegar, red food coloring. I think it's the coconut that makes it like that sets it apart. Who said coconut? You say coconut? I said cocoa powder. Oh. Chocolate. <laughs> I don't know where to sit in on this conversation. Okay. I think you look at look at Honk. He's just lost all hope. <laughs> it's just like he's looking at his screen like it's all been a lie. Red velvet is just chocolate cake, brother. No, it's, it's not. It's different. I, I feel it's like just, he's right. It's different levels of okay, for sure. But it's just chocolate cake. I hate chocolate cake. I love red velvet. <laughs> I think I know the difference. Bestie, you I stupid hate, bitch. I hate to break it to you, but I'm not fucking wrong. I'm not fucking wrong. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're about to lose friendship over cake. Um, okay. Let's, let's move on. Uh, speaking of desserts, how about concessions, boys? When you go to a theater, what do you get? Popcorn. Is that it? Mm, if I'm feeling frisky, either pink lemonade or an icing. What are you saying now? Concessions at a theater. Go to a theater, what do you got? A movie theater? Yeah. Oh, um, either a big Dr. Pepper or a big lemonade. Don't get and any then, food? And then... Why would you start um, with the drink? How is that my fault? <laughs> that's how I think. Okay. Sorry. Fuck. Bitch. Um, and then I like to get this the sweet part ropes the cherry ones those are pretty good yeah, those are delicious and then um sometimes i'll get like uh a chip it's like a hot cheetos get yeah, hot cheetos in a theater i don't think i've ever gotten chips at a movie theater that sounds like the most annoying thing in the goddamn world. Can you imagine hearing well, someone open just crack it loud. open like, You open it loud at first. You get out of the way. I open everything first. Do you bring chopsticks to the theater? No. <laughs> you just I use pile my fingers. Them. But I also eat, try to eat the chips like before the movie even starts. No, that makes sense, because... Like, imagine watching Endgame and, like, 
It's at that like part where like it zooms in on Cap's face before he says assemble, and all you hear is crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The sweet snacks are for the rest of the movie. I can't say I'd ever buy chips at a theater. Um, my dad used to buy uh, milk duds. I fucking hate milk mm. duds. Milk duds are so good. I hate milk duds. Uh, I love... I think I used to get like a crunch bar from the theater as well. That was fun. Icy is what Honk said. I think Icy is pretty solid. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I just butter the fuck out of my popcorn. Have you, have you guys ever put the seasoning? Oh, you ever put the seasoning on um popcorn? Salt. No, I don't eat the popcorn. Or no, like they have like the you've never seen that. They have like the parmesan. Oh. They have like the ranch. They have just shit. Cheddar the theater. They have they've had it at some theaters I've been to. I just like popcorn. I just mm-hmm. butter the fuck out that popcorn. Butter that bitch up. I eat it plain. Okay. Eat it plain. No, just lightly buttered. <sighs> My mom liked to drown the shit, and like, if it's too buttery, it makes me fucking sick. Yeah, if you have too much of it, sure. No, but like, no. in that, in those moments where you're just having nothing but like, fucking hard butter. Pretty good. I want I want enough butter to just like have my hand like slide around. Like if I, oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I not that much butter, but a pretty good amount of butter. I do like your mom. Your mom knows what she's doing. Yeah. Do you ever like mix stuff in like M and M's or something? I saw a post about trail mix, <laughs> and it was just like. Trail mix? You mean, you mean hard to get M and M's? M and M's you have to work for. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I never understood mixing popcorn with that shit. I'm not even like a huge kettle corn person. At least not the cheddar one. Maybe like the the uh, syrupy one. I don't know what it's called. The caramel one? Oh, caramel. Duh. There's caramel corn, there's kettle corn, and then... What do you mean cheddar Cheddar. Yeah, they mix They mix the caramel and the cheddar. There's like, there's like tins of popcorn that has three yeah. flavors, is what he's talking about. Yeah. Kettle corn fucks. Okay. What is what is kettle corn though? What what what's up with that? Like what? So we have the it's caramel, like we sugar. have the ch- melted sugar. Melted sugar. Yeah, that's probably like, fine. Then. Have you ever been to a fair and like there's like these long tube bags of kettle corn? Are they like Cracker Jacks? No, they're not that coated. Then I'm not sure. Do you know Boom Chicka Pop? The store bought popcorn and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. that, that threw me off so much. Boom Chicka Pop. <laughs> boom Chicka Boom. I said a Boom Chicka Boom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, you guys ever seen those? Uh, well, I know you've definitely seen them. Tins that have like the cookies and stuff in them. That, like oh, yeah. the meme is like grandma's turned that into like a sewing kit. It's true. You ever actually eaten a cookie out of one of those? Yeah. People always they're say okay. that they've never actually had the cookies. They're okay. They're just plain, you know, sugar cookies. But they're like sweet. Yeah. They're good. Flavorless, but sweet. Like not even vanilla. Yeah. A little dry. Yeah. I think. They're like good for like dunking in coffee or something, right? Like that's what but you would buy them for. Yeah, I never do that. <laughs> I don't like dunking shit in coffee. It mm-hmm. just doesn't sound good. Like you, when you take like a French fry. I mean, I guess when me and Hector take a French fry <laughs> and we dunk it in a milkshake, that's pretty good. 
<laughs> she would never. She would never. <laughs> she doesn't know what flavor is. <laughs> huh? That shit's good though. I never. So I I started this with like the whole water bottle thing. Another thing that irks me a little bit is when people ask for like vanilla anything. Like if you're not pairing it with something, like if you're just getting like a vanilla shake. What are you really drinking? Older milk? Like, come on. Ah. Oh, sweeter. Sweeter milk? Ah. Get chocolate, <laughs> like a man. Get strawberry, like a man. Dude, strawberry. Um, Costco has the strawberry ice cream. That shit fucks. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but I I always hate it. Like, I think Ash got a vanilla shake from Carl's Jr. one day. I was like, <sighs> like I it, like telling the person in the drive-through a vanilla shake. Like that's just, <laughs> that's, I hate that. It's degrading. It's good. It's vanilla. It's just vanilla. Better than chocolate. It is. So, I mean, He's right. you know, you could make that argument, or you could remember that if I just sprinkle a little bit of red dye in that chocolate shake, it'd be red velvet. Yeah, nope. that's kind of true. <laughs> so it's not like the same amount of chocolate to be chocolate cake, honk, are like slightly right, but it's definitely like yes, the flavoring it's... is chocolate. At, at its core, it's chocolate, but it's been imp improved upon by just having a little less of chocolate <laughs> and a little more flavor. Of what flavor? Oh god, that's another fucking that thing flavor. that I hate so much. What flavor, though? <laughs> <laughs> the <Velvet>. flower, <laughs> the red dye, Bread. red dye forty two. <laughs> yeah. I eat that shit okay. up. Okay. <laughs> That's another thing that I've actually, like, always hated. Jesse will, like, say, like, something has more flavor. Like, the fuck does that mean? Like, when you say more fucking flavor. Like, more flavor. Like, if you can, like, list what is going on in your mouth, kudos. If you're, like, if you add salt to something and go, mmm, that's more flavor, you're fucking wrong. It's just salty now, and it's good. It's probably better, but it doesn't mean it has more fucking flavor. Flavor is just like people use the word flavor so wrong, and like it always fucking happens in the line of Chipotle. Some fucking white chick is on is in line like, "Oh, your fajitas are missing a flavor." Or some shit like that. And it's like, oh, we made them the same goddamn way we always do. It's like, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this is a very, very personal and specific. Problem. It is. It, it, it's been irking. It's honestly like a new pet peeve. People using like the word flavor wrong. Just, I hate it. Wrong according to you. I feel like if you look up the word flavor, it's not like defined as it's defined as like a one thing instead of a blanket term for many things. Mm, you should look it up then. Take a look. Like, so if you were to say more flavors, uh, that would be the correct use. Fine flavor. A distinctive taste of food or drink distinctive so like probably the most like probably the, the most an prominent. indication of the essential character of something yeah yeah the content yeah so mm -hmm. when something so when someone says it's not flavorful they're literally saying this tastes like nothing it's when it <sighs> yeah but it's like, but that doesn't make any goddamn sense because, like, okay, again, example, Chipotle. You have, like, eight things inside this bowl and you're saying it's not flavorful? Or you're saying, like, it'd be, it, it, or it'd be, like, 
that there's no flavor in general. I think saying there's no flavor in general versus saying it's not flavorful is like different. If that makes sense. Sure. I don't know. I just pisses <laughs> me off. Like, so if you were to get some rice at Chipotle and it was like no one put any cilantro, lime, or salt in it, what would mm. you say? Like, there's no flavor or there's not enough flavor? Or I'd say there's what? no flavor. What? There's the flavor of the rice. That's, mm-hmm. but that's literally a bland like substance. Like, it, it tastes like nothing. And then, so if they put the cilantro, lime, and salt, but not enough, would it be the same thing? It's not flavorful. <laughs> okay. He sounds like the freaking princess in the pea. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I just, if people He's piss me like... off. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Okay. okay moving on uh, i'm done with the flavors um i love how we're getting to this like yeah damn near last uh mexican aliens how do we feel about that what does that mean you don't uh, know about it oh you don't know <laughs> no uh, don't wait. Um, oh, go ahead there's a um the mexican government revealed that they have a mummified alien and they like showed it on camera and everything. I don't know if it was real or faked by the government or whoever, Mm -hmm. but what they're saying is that they have a mummified alien and it literally just looked like a tiny ET. And yeah, they like showed it off on camera and everything. And I saw someone talking about it on TikTok. I think there were like x-rays of it and stuff. And it mm-hmm. has intact fallopian tubes and eggs. Oh, eggs? Yeah, like in its uterus, I guess. And it had like okay. a totally different like bone structure. I think that was like similar to either lizards or birds he said it was like like the ribs were like a full circle so i'm about to uh destroy your entire hopes and dreams i think so first off this was not the mexican government uh coming out with this they were platforming a guy who had actually brought in the corpses to show uh so like he was literally like presenting them at like a Congress meeting or some shit like that. Um, and this guy actually has a history of doing this. Uh, he did it like two or three years ago with the corpse. Bamboozling. He did it two or three years ago with another alien corpse and they debunked it. Um, they said that like the original alien corpse that he brought in used like, a whole bunch of parts that just didn't make sense. Like they, he used human bones, alpaca, an alpaca skull, fucking, um, like actual like guts from like something else. I forgot what it was, but like it was debunked. And so now he brings in two corpses, ET looking ass, which isn't even the part that I don't really believe. Cause I feel like, they look like the stereotypical alien, and I'm like, okay, we had to have gotten the idea from something. Like, someone had to have seen this, that's where it comes from, that kind of makes sense why they would look like that, I guess. But then it's like, he invited the world, not just like, the people there, he invited the world to look into these corpses, to like, prove the, to like prove him right. That they are alien corpses this time around. Um, Kind of grossed out by the fact that he was just making a puzzle. Yeah. With fucking body parts. That's gross. 
Yeah, in my mind, I'm like, how did he get access to human bones? <laughs> like, I feel like he should be locked up, but um, I don't know, man. It's Mexico. Who fucking mm-hmm. knows? Um, there he was saying that like they're like mummified and all that jazz, whatever. Uh. What was the other thing that you had mentioned? Oh, the fallopian tube thing, right? Uh, but I uh, can't even remember what the other fucking news was besides that. I just wanted to like, I needed to throw that in there because he has had a history of it. I forget, I forget the guy's name, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if they're real. I don't think they would be given his given his history, but the reason, but the way that they look is not the reason why I would think that they're not real so you don't know if it's proven or not well i don't know if anyone's like come out and debunked these ones yet mm, i'm guessing they're still being tested yes Assuming you guys are all looking. Yeah. I don't know. They're like so like really small. Right. They're so goddamn small. It's interesting. Oh, fuck. Um but that's it. That's 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 the news. There's aliens, guys. Real talk, we all do believe that there's life in the galaxy, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I think you'd be an idiot not to. Too big. Way too goddamn big for too there too not big. to be more life. That life focusing on Earth, maybe because they're like, holy shit, other life just like us. But otherwise, I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah. Wish Kelly was here, he'd probably have some fucking tinfoil hat shit to say. Oh my goodness. Probably be like, they're one percent. <laughs> and here see. and here's why. <laughs> mm-hmm. The aliens made me gay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, was there oh Alyssa put down Overwatch 2 anniversary, did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the anniversary started today. Um, and obviously, like, it's just like any other fucking event that they do where they just bring back all their other game modes for like a week, you know? So they're doing like three game modes for one week, three game modes next week, and then the week after. Um, I don't think there's anything new about the game modes, though. I wouldn't expect it. I think there's just maybe some skins available. I don't know if they're cool, actually. Um, Well, while you do that, we could... Uh, wrap it up with one more topic if you guys are down. Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So you're at a zoo, and so you're at a zoo alone, and all the animals break out, and they start charging you. What what animal are you taking in a fight? Like, why would I need to fight? No, like, they're charging you. Like, you have no option. You have to fight this animal. What are you taking in a fight? I think you could take most of them that are, like, smaller than you. A meerkat. A meerkat? (laughs) It just grab it. Done and done. Done and done. It wouldn't kill it. Was that was that the only thing? 
Like, you have to knock out these animals. <laughs> Someone else answer. Um, uh, yeah, I think anything that's smaller than you. Obviously, not like tigers or lions or rhinos or gorillas, bears. bears. Oh yeah, you can take a monkey. Yeah, you can take a monkey. I mean, it depends on the type of monkey, but like an orangutan. Like... Oh fuck no! I think you take a orangutan. No. I have seen a. Uh... I've seen the story of a woman that got her entire face ripped off and all the surgery could not fix it. She covers it the rest of her life. It's By an orangutan? I, I'm pretty, pretty sure, big. yes. And now I don't I don't trust I don't trust them because they're just too human like. They're too smart and aggressive and do too much. How the fuck do you spell orangutan? <laughs> o R Angatang. Angatang. <laughs> Angatang. That's how you spell it. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, dude, they're pretty big. They have that reach. I got that reach. Okay, I'll 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 equip you with a like a like a bow staff, like a staff. Get like this really hard staff. Orangutan is grabbing that shit for you. And, <laughs> and using it on you, yeah. It's like, Easily. no. <laughs> fucking Caesar from Planet of the Apes just fucking Seriously. beats you with it. I feel like I can take a zebra. We would stomp the no. shit out of you. He'd kick the shit out of you. Clock that motherfucker before he gets the chance. Dude, it's like a horse, but like, but they're just with stripes smaller, right? Yeah, just clock that motherfucker. I got that. You could you knock out a horse in one punch? No, depends on the horse. Like, I can, I, I think like I think I could take a uh, a okay, baby. I, yeah, like a pony, a miniature horse, <laughs> a little Sebastian, <laughs> kick, kick the fucking head off, man. Yeah. That's depressing. Turn that motherfucker into a giraffe. You know what I'm saying? You need a <laughs> You guys take no. a giraffe? No. What? I don't think I could take any animal that was like taller than my knee. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You have a staff. You also remember that if you have a staff, zebra out. I'm taking that zebra yeah. all day. I don't have animal instincts, though. I don't trust that I'm better. <laughs> she, like, throws a jar on the ground for healing. <laughs> <laughs> Try to befriend them. Try to befriend them. Fuck. <laughs> like, this that's such a weak answer. I'm, I'm surprised none of you said anything outlandish. Like, no one said anything outlandish. Like, you would. No, I, I could definitely take smaller things. Like yeah, the little monkeys, the the flamingos for sure. Birds yeah. are Fuck tough. Them. Ostrich? Can you take an ostrich? Uh, I forget the difference between ostrich and emu. Ostrich is bigger Emus than emu. Yeah, I could take an emu, but not an ostrich. They're tall, right? With the staff, got... with the staff, I'm taking an ostrich all day. My yeah, motherfucker is gonna get he'd throated. Like swing, <laughs> hit it in the neck, and then its neck would fucking wrap around the shit like a snake. <laughs> and... <laughs> all right, okay. Thanks gonna for the shit for thanks for tuning into this week's <laughs> podcast, everybody. Um, uh, I guess I guess we're wrapping right there. <laughs> That was a sin. <laughs> I just imagined like the, <laughs> the neck just wrapping around the fucking bowl like I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Nah, I I take a zebra and an ostrich all day. I take that. And it looks like I got the biggest W do by doing that, so that's fine. What a bear. 
You're dumb. Like a like no. a like a cub. Panda. What about a panda? What about a panda? No. You take a panda. Pandas can be big all they want. You have a staff and a fucking instinct to kill. Oh, insta kill? Who said insta kill? Instinct to kill. Who the I can take anything in that fucking bitch for insta kill. You got me you got me fucked. I just have to make oh, the yeah. first move. What do you mean instant kill? Instinct to kill. Oh, instinct to kill. Okay. Oh. Oh, dude, pandas are bears. They're just because they're like cute and fluffy and cuddly, they could still rip your fucking face off. Can won't if they have the instinct to kill too. Then I hit that motherfucker in the head hard enough, he's out. I don't think so. That shit's yuck. Something that I could never take, elephant. Never. No. Not with. Oh, that's not, where you cross the line. Not. <laughs> not even with like advantages, like tranquilizer, like. I, Thank God. Jesus, I cut out so bad. Um, not even like like a tranquilizer. Tranquilizer, Jesus. They remember. Or they remember, like, you. Dude. Yeah. No, there was this elephant that, like, stomped all up on this woman's funeral, like, on her casket. I'm pretty sure. Because she remembered and she saw something about the funeral. She went to and stomped the fuck out of her. <laughs> Did the elephant ask for directions or something? Like, what? <laughs> What are you talking about? Okay. I don't know. That's some fucking Reddit story. Don't even. <laughs> that's, that's not, that is. There's no way that's real. Well, now you gotta look it up. Okay, and flew across flew across the world just to go to this. <laughs> he's this like crazy. sitting. Yeah. He's just sitting totally normal on a plane. It's like <laughs> reading a paper or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm gonna get that bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. What a wolf. Who do you think you are? One wolf and you have a bow staff. Are you taking that wolf? I mean, there's a chance, but it's not likely. I want to say there's a 40% chance of survival. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think for me, that's fair too. Overwhelm it with strength. It's got speed. It's got it's got the limberness. But I but I got that strength in my fucking my fucking home run that bitch. Make it like back to the barnyard. But can, can you take a cow? I don't know. Cows are big. They're big. They're heavy but there's a whole thing like back in the day like kids used to go like cow tipping yeah there's cow tipping but that's just if they're sleeping like if you're facing off with a cow you, you're gonna swing your bow staff and it's not even gonna flinch the bow staff's just gonna like break on its fucking head maybe not but I mean, we have a, we have cow cheeseburgers, man. I'm not That's one to. Totally <laughs> okay, okay. What if you get like, what if your weapon is a goddamn chainsaw? Then what's go? Then what are you running? Who are you, who are you running? I mean, that's, like, just easy win for anything, I think. Anything? I'm still not fucking with a gorilla. But if you had to, do you think you could? No. I think yeah. he still wins. Gorilla's tough. Gorilla's tough. I mean, really, you only have to get in, like, one or two good dodges. But that'd be tough. 
Yeah, he's they're fast. They're fast. Like he swings at you, you duck, and then you like just jam it in. Jam it in. Yeah. Maybe. I don't even know. Like, aren't they like really dense? Like could a you chain a chainsaw on? can get in there. There's no doubt about that. But there's like, no doubt. How easily, you know? I feel like it'd be a little too tough. Like he'd be able to get in another swing or two before you like really get in there. Yeah. Which is why I'm like, nah, I still lose your gorilla. Yeah. And an elephant, probably. True. Yeah. Giraffe? All day. Chainsaw? It's fucked. Yep. Yeah. Ostrich? Easy. It's fucked. It's not yeah. wrapping around that shit. <laughs> it's floppy neck gets caught in the chain it just starts spinning <laughs> oh god this is so cartoony alright well we can wrap right there Alyssa was already doing it so Alyssa can do it no okay thanks for watching and listening to our podcast tune in maybe next week if we decide to do it Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>